Yes, Namaste Rasika. Namaste. Okay, so Rasika, uh, your date of birth is 30 05 uh, 1989. Correct. Right? So, uh, so with your date of birth, I can see that while you were growing up, maybe qualifications and education or some sense of value system uh, was very important. You saw that in your family and uh, probably the trauma that you carry in your home is that of on behest of those values, you were not allowed to speak your truth. So if you felt something which was against what the value system of your household was while you were, you were growing up, uh, you were either made to feel as if you're different or you were made to feel ashamed, ashamed that how could you even think like that? And all those spoken, unspoken words, all those experiences that you wish to have, all those places that you wanted to visit and all those times when you wanted to take the power of your life in your hand, maybe in terms of making money, maybe in terms of literally, it could be as simple as I want to go outside and go for a walk. So all those things which you were not allowed to do and why was that? Because there was this sense of uh, that this is how it should be. This is the value system that you should uh, uh, follow. And to be very honest, it's not about blaming anybody who was trying to do that. That's just how, you know, as I said, there's a uniqueness to the date of birth. And uh, through that, you are supposed to come up. Like that's the generational trauma, the trauma of restriction because of values, the trauma of seeing the world from my way or the highway because of the values. Yeah, so either it happens like this or it doesn't happen like that. And if you think any different, then uh, then you're not one with us, that, that you are not in our community. And that also there was a way of, that uh, these are the tried and tested things that we have seen. You will also have to function like that. So that over a period of time actually made you go away from your individuality. Uh, mm -hmm. Rasika, and is it true that lot many times you felt, oh, but, karna padega, but this is not how I feel. And, uh, and therefore, a lot of identity crisis came in. And so now what is happening is that sometimes the life that you live, you're trying to prove it to others that it is okay to be me. And, uh, and, and, uh, and if I'm not able to give, it's almost as if it comes out as, um, as, you know, as a trauma of abandonment. Because that's what happened Absolutely. in the past, right? That because you did not, uh, uh, you did not subscribe to their idea, uh, uh, you were abandoned. So which is what part of it is what you're carrying in your home, honey. So for somebody like you, Vesika, if you do go ahead with the packages, uh, a numerology, num so numerology number two is something which will, which will beautifully work for everybody who is listening, okay? So take it as a gift for me because this is going to be available in the replay. But specifically for the kind of uh, trauma that you carry in your home, Rasika, uh, numerology number three, okay, eight and five will be good for you. And I can then write to you to let you know how you can utilize it. So all you have to do is just play that in the background as in how I would advise you to. And yes. while you're listening to it, maybe certain times your attention is there, maybe certain times it's not there. Mm -hmm. You can use this when you're cooking food or you're use, you can use it before having a glass of water and charge your water with it. Slowly and steadily, you would see either a memory will come back to you of that place while what I'm saying in the uh, in the numerology MP3, uh, uh, you know, it connects with you, or else it you will just feel like crying. I mean, that's what people have told me. You will just feel okay. like crying, or something. Sometimes people have also told me that well, when karma from there, when the trauma from there gets released, because it's here, right? It's here in our so intestine and stomach area. Sometimes a little grounding happens. So that's okay, unless it becomes too much. You know, I mean, I'm not saying it should be um, in comparison to the health issues. That is how over a period of time it will help you, Rasika. Okay. So if you resonate, do you think this is this is your answer? Uh, uh, considering uh, the the person I am, I am a very free bird, yeah. and as as you said that you know there are the I have restricted myself from a very young age, uh, basis on the values or basis of how people behave. Like, oh, I should behave likewise so I can be a part of, you know, their group yeah. or, you know, I, I shouldn't feel alone or I shouldn't be feel, felt left out. So I have behaved many times likewise, but I'm not that person. Right. I have just behaved to gain their attention is, is what I, I can resonate now right. with what you said. And... Um, and thank you for that, you know, that meditation part. I literally cried and 
it was an amazing experience. It was very amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. Namaste. Namaste. Okay, uh, so let's pick up uh, Barinder Bediji next. Uh, can Barinder <clears throat> uh, please unmute herself if she's still there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, oh, there you are. <laughs> Namaste, Barinderji. Namaste. Uh, one second. Yeah. Okay. So, Barinderji, uh, the date of birth that you gave us 2003, uh, 1973. Right. So uh, with that, okay, with that, what I can say is that Varindaji, you've lived a life where even though <laughs> you're so compassionate, you are so giving and nurturing, almost motherly for other people, that the truth is that many people do get attracted to you. Many people do want to be nurtured by you. However, over a period of time or generationally, whether you are aware or not, what it could have done you is that you know how it is that certain times people lose themselves in nurturing someone else like it works when you are a, when you're a mother uh, because uh, when you're a mother you when one is a mother they have to take up the duties and responsibilities of a child but then when that mother role extends even though we start finding our worth in it but over a period of time we also become like a reflector of other people so i would say that what you carry in your womb is actually not just your own thoughts, not just your own feelings, but also what other people knowingly or unknowingly come and discuss with you and other people come and, uh, because it's so open, you're so inviting that they almost come and dump on you. So even though you wish that you were not, you were not feeling or you were not connecting with them uh, at the level that you do, but being the empathetic absorber that you are, uh, you, at times, see yourself absorbing their energy also. So is that something which you feel is true and uh, and you would want to release? Yes, exactly. Uh, <coughs> if you tell me that I am the absorber, although I am I can't hear you properly, Barinderji. Could you uh, move your uh, speaker close to your mouth? Yes, exactly. This is what I am the absorber type of a person. <coughs> Although I feel that I'm not taking the, taking the energies, but uh, they just get into me and unknowingly they get into me. And then I, I have a lot of internal grief and crying and I don't get the reasons also why I, I am that short. Right. So, so that's... You, upon yourself, uh, you see, like what happens with water when it comes to water, right? Like if you put ink in it, it becomes ink water, right? If you put sugar in it, it becomes sugar water. Right. So which is which is exactly what happens with you, that whoever you are with, whoever's company you are in, knowingly, unknowingly, the energy starts adapting to it. So obviously, if it is a higher, uh, uh, it's a, if it's an energy which vibrates high, excellent. But if it's an energy which is maybe going through its own uh, stuff, unknowingly, knowingly, you are absorbing it and that is what is affecting you. So for somebody like you, definitely, as I said, the numerology number two is applicable for all. But specifically for you, if you go ahead, a numerology number three and a numerology number five energy, uh, uh, sorry, MP3 will be good for you as well. And it will be very interesting to see that which inner divine feminine energy operates through you because, uh, because in future when we invoke or in future when you do the advanced inner Shakti meditation as well, that's the inner Shakti that you can invoke to Tomorrow, do come back tomorrow as well, whether you take the package or not, uh, because over there, we're going to speak about certain connection between the elements and our divine Shakti as well. So, uh, but, but just to know that which inner Shakti flows to you and when you will combine that with these numerology MP3s, work on it over a period of time. Let's say you've come back from an intense environment. Maybe you were meeting your friends and you absorbed something knowingly, unknowingly. You can just come back to these MP3s have that water, uh, the energized water, and that will help you release not just your trauma, but the trauma of others also. And also with this kind of uh, Shakti, I have seen that uh, we just spoke about the generational energies as well, right? So it's almost as if your generations, the reason why you feel so much is because the generations have, uh, it's almost as if they're knocking on your door and saying that, hey, don't work. I mean, you work for yourself too, but work for us as well. 
so that is what you would put momentum to for in future as well okay thank you yes definitely thank you so much neha very enlightening and best part was that you don't have to go back to the traumas again to believe that i think exactly. that is the best click which i've got over here excellent yeah i mean you see uh, when i was thanks for bringing that up because that makes me feel that it's on the right path because when i was bringing these up that was exactly my idea that how do i create something with all that i know uh, wherein you know we don't have to connect back with the memory of that trauma because i don't want the brain to go in that fight and fight mode again right and also because i wanted you all to have these recordings forever so imagine if i was to put those trauma remembrance in it again and again i'm not just asking you to remember it today when you are doing this group session or the advanced inner shakti session but forever right so it's actually harming rather than uh, uh, you know doing any favor but uh, great so good thank good you. speaking thank with you, you. namaste thank you okay so one second okay now uh, we can go to uh, neelam neelam singh ji she's there neelam is there neelam yeah there you are um namaste namaste neelam ji i i have just asked you to be unmuted and uh, yeah. namaste neelam ji how are you <laughs> great So Neelam ji, uh, you your date of birth is twelve twelve nineteen seventy. That's right. That's right. Okay. So, um, hmm. Okay, Neelam ji, you are somebody who, uh, you know, who has this sense of beauty in you, right? That you can look at something and say, "Acha, is they from this I can get that work done," which is great. Uh, the only thing which happens. the the trauma that you could be carrying with you for yourself or your for, for your generations is the mix and match of where you truly know that uh you know this is a value that you can add to something and when that comes in place of the responsibilities and duties that you might have of your family right so so the resistance that you, and and remember both is you like you neither do you want to compromise there nor do you want to so i'm not saying that your family is coming in the way it's not happening mm. it's the other way around you're like i want to do this i have to call i mean i i know that i have the wisdom to which it's almost as if you get this divine inspiration i have to do this mm. however then some something comes up in the family i'm like no 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 if i can't let that be also exactly very true <laughs> very true right? yeah. so that push and pull that trauma that you have of maybe those not Uh, going ahead with your inspirations and all of that creativity or i would say rather uh, those sparks getting you know as if uh, whenever there is let's say if there is a very bright circuit okay that circuit is always brimming with some impulses and due to whatever reason those impulses are subdued so all of that energy becomes static and that is what has gone inside your bone and you would have i mean whether you know it or not But that is exactly what your previous feminine generations have faced as well. They were all intelligent, all had leadership qualities. They were very, you know, they they also had the nurturing quality, motherly quality as well. And they all struggled with this this push and pull of whether I should go out there and make a name for myself because you have the potential of it, or to say that. But I do do truly feel that I have to give to my family. And again, it might not be. something which was forced upon them it's like their internal thing this is their, their internal struggle so that is what you need to uh, kind of uh, process right and uh, so neelam ji for you numerology number 1 which which will also help you keep you know it will help you understand that how you don't need to do everything on your own so if there is a spark of inspiration which comes to you and maybe you're pulled in the direction of your family and to beautify your house you know always delegate it right okay. to begin with uh, you can delegate it so it's so numerology number 1 definitely mm. numerology number 2 and also numerology number 7 will help you connect back and release that trauma so that there today it is information that yes i can delegate but tomorrow you are able to take that action 
and put those things into momentum also so that all those wisdom all that inspiration that your generations are speaking to you through they through you they can incept and you don't have to be in that cycle of keep coming back as your mother as your grandmother as your great grandmother to be stuck in that pattern so does that recipe does it help you Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, I'm into this situation only, and I don't know how to. Uh, um, there are so many beautiful thoughts in my mind. Even I'm working the, uh, towards it, but uh, I don't know how to uh, streamline those things. Whenever there's a big thing coming, there's always a family thing is also coming. Yes, but I then then I skip my part, and then I. Uh, I can't hear you, Nilamji. Uh, properly, is it possible for you to speak a bit louder? Yeah, there's always what you said. Uh, The, the things of the family, and the, there was always uh, whenever I had to do something for myself, and uh, there was always a family thing coming, right. and then I had I choose the family. Thing. Exactly, right. Mm -hmm. so, so this is so this is exactly how, and not just I mean definitely the numerology MP threes will help you, but even the advanced uh, session that we are going to do uh, this Saturday, you mm -hmm. know, there you are going to find out. Uh, especially with the package B, you get this entire recording of your archetypes as well. Okay, mm -hmm. feminine archetypes and the feminine journey. So you will be able to see that which archetype at what time do you need to activate and utilize, and then you can utilize your numerology MP threes to activate that. Plus, when you know, like your question being that, at times I don't know what to do, but imagine if you do know your inner Shakti, and then you match that with your meditation. Plus, when you do those generational healing, which we are going to do in the next session. uh it's going to give you an activation which is going to be an answer for what is it that i need to do so again when it comes to certain patterns they uh, they will i would say break over a period of time for that first what we need is the courage so which is why where i would uh, uh, encourage you to begin with is the numerology 1 mp3 okay okay all right neela thank, thank you so much thank you okay Uh, ipsa ipsa is there is ipsa there yes ma'am okay namaste ipsa uh, let me just namaste, find you here there you are okay yeah great so before i begin with ipsa uh, a gentle reminder to all that the flash sale for the package b is going to be on until <laughs> the uh, webinar last so if you have any questions in relation to that uh, you can you can ask in the telegram group or here and we'll be happy to answer okay so it's a your date of birth is 9 12 1986 right yes ma'am excellent so it's a you carry with you the energy of being a warrior for whoever you love <laughs> matlab if there is somebody who you have said that is my friend or is my fa especially for the family you are like they they can rely on you if there is the cost that they need to pick up they know that they can rely on ipsa to start to take a stand for them right am i right yes <laughs> so very so very humanitarian very giving very uh, it's almost as if somebody can call you an old soul because if you do bring with yourself a little sense of uh uh what is, the intuition as well that what could the other person be needing or how could the other person be feeling but the trauma that you carry in your womb is that of often that energy being misunderstood okay often when people tell you that not every cause is your cause it's a often when you feel like being a warrior for someone else and the other might say that i can speak for myself or alternatively when you need them to be in a similar way as you were for them and they're not there because they can't match your energy because they can't match your warrior spirit so that can leave you often scarred that can leave you often in a way that the way i understand this person how is it that this person doesn't understand and yes, and so those uh no you in your in your own mind you're thinking that it's non reciprocatory that as if your energy got wasted so all of that all of those thoughts and all of those internal arguments is what you are carrying as a trauma in your home so for you something like a numerology number 9 definitely numerology number 
and also a numerology number 8 mp3 will work okay. for you to help you process that particular thing to see the truth of it to become so self sufficient such that eventually ipsa you do you which means that if i fe- if ipsa feels like taking a stand for this person taking a uh, uh, you know making a choice for this uh, not making a choice but uh, you know almost like putting energy forward for that person then it is ipsa's choice it is not dependent on whether uh, ipsa is getting a reciprocation from there or not so basically to invoke that internal power from inside so that it is self sufficient does that help yes ma'am thank you okay okay thank you so much great